what happened. He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashi, activate steering wheel. How's our patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles snap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <sighs> oh, <sighs> oh uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. Captain, you're just in time. The meteor shower is just starting. There's one. Look. Oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> oh, wow. Erskamuta. That's a meteor tunip. A meteor is a piece of rock flying through space. When lots of them are in the sky at once, like tonight, it's called a meteor shower. <laughs> One looks like it might be heading this way. Hmm. Occasionally, a meteor will fall to the Earth. Some, well, most in fact, land right in the ocean. Hmm. Then we'd better move the octopod just to be on the safe side. Dashy. Already on it, Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. We're coming in. You got it, Cap. Oh, this looks interesting. What's going on in there? Oh, we're falling fast, Captain. Something's wrong with the octopod's engines. They've completely shut down. Then we'll have to prepare for a crash landing. Octonauts, hold on. Extend and lock the pod arms. It just might wedge us in. Go for it.
Is everyone all right? Yes, Captain. Safe and sound. Captain, you're not going to believe this. What is it, Dashy? It's the meteor tracker, Captain. The meteor Quasi saw is about to crash into the ocean, and it's heading straight for us. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a meteor heading our way, and the octopod is stuck. I'll get to work on the engine, Cap. Dashy, how much time do we have? Not long, Captain. In just a few minutes, the meteor will hit the ocean, and then the octopod. <laughs> then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweak, what was that noise? Looky look, octopus tentacles straight ahead. Yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! Go! Oh, yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulpa eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulpa eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. Wow! I think um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. <laughs> I've almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Yow! <laughs> or his tail. <laughs> Yeah. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bombers! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting. Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. 